So I want to share a couple of thoughts this morning. Um, I'm going to read from uh, John 15, 18. It says, If the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you as well. If they follow my word, they will follow yours also. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. <clears throat> The one who hates me hates my father also. If I had done among them the works which no one else did, they would, have not, they would not have sin. But now they have both seen and hated me and my father as well. But this has happened so that the word that is written in their law will be fulfilled. They hated me for no reason. So obviously Christ is talking to the apostles here. And... Uh, but I just want to share, I've been thinking, I was listening to a sermon this morning uh, by John MacArthur and then another one by, uh, by Dr. David Jeremiah uh, as, I, as I was on my hike. And, you know, they were talking about all sorts of different things, you know, war in the world and, and uh, being re the church being rejected, you know, and that we're here, the church, to proclaim Christ's truth and who he was what he's done and they're gonna hate us the world's gonna hate us and I know we've been kind of living in this bubble at least you know somewhat in the 1900s um, and in the early 2000s <clears throat> and things are just kind of seem like they're falling apart a little bit but I think we just have to remember that our hope isn't in politics I know these next couple of months are like a lot of people are talking about November and oh maybe things are gonna change maybe they will maybe they won't you know maybe Christ is coming back in five years a year a month maybe a hundred years, maybe a thousand more years, don't know. But um, our hope, where's our hope? Where's our peace? Um, you know, it can't be in <clears throat> some politician. Uh, you know, we saw that with the Israelites, you know, and this is something that John MacArthur was recently, I was listening to a sermon to him recently about, about Saul, you know, that they put their hope in Saul. Uh, and, you know, what a joke, what a slap to God's face. Um, you know, we do the same thing, you know, and our hope can't be in politics. It can't be in our job. It can't be even in our families. Um, it can only be in one thing and one person, and that's God and God alone and Christ and Christ alone. Um, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, that is the only place where our hope can be. So I just want to share that, and I know that, <clears throat> I think it's in John 17, uh, Christ is, you know, he's still talking to the disciples, to, to, to them, and he said, you know, he said that uh, not, basically not to fear that he's overcome the world. And he says that you're, you're going to have tribulation, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but you're going to have tribulation, but not to worry, not to fear, because he's overcome the world, and, um, you know, we're going to go through hard times, not sure what that's going to look like, not sure how much of that each of us are going to go through, and we look at, uh, we look at what uh, the disciples went through, and, and uh, we may have to go through that stuff. Uh, and that's not even necessarily the tribulation, because I know there's the whole question of the rapture and pre-trib, post-trib. You know, personally, I fall under dispensationalists, you know, pre-trib rapture. I'm looking forward to hopefully having that happen, but, you know, I know that um, no matter what occurs, God's sovereign, and no matter what occurs, uh, my prayer is that my peace and my hope will continually, every day, remain in him and I don't know how many people are going to see this little video but I hope and pray that your peace and your hope remain in him and him alone. Have a great day.